Okay, here we go. I've cut um, a liter and a half bottle on the t at the top, up in this area, this area here, and then I just cut it off. And then the next bottle I cut from the way bottom, so then it fits on top of each other like that. So when the uh, moringa grows, it can grow as high as it wants, and it's got room to grow. And um, I filled it halfway with uh, compost and um, uh, potting soil and add a little bit of water to it so I'm gonna put my seeds in there right now so anyway you can do the same I'm not gonna go out of my way and cut another one and take the time so anyway uh, and you know what to do it's easy just cut the top off top off, top off of one and the bottom off of the other and then keep it like that I'm gonna grow I'm gonna put these sprouts in those seedlings I'm gonna put the roots in first of course that long horny thing is the root and it's uh it's going to be sprout up from the this little area right here so so using the stick i'm going to poke at it a little bit make my little hole right two little holes I'm gonna just two little holes or just put a finger finger in there and I'm gonna throw in my little seedlings and do that and cover that and put that one in here a little bit but not too much allow it to grow I'm gonna cover it that much and then cover it there you go keep it like that and it'll add a little bit of water what to do is add about maybe half a cup of water not too much because you, it's gonna be a greenhouse and then you just let it sit there and grow so um, you don't have to play with it or mess with it for about a month or so and just let it grow in there and uh, you'll see it sprout and grow continue to sprout and grow so just give enough moisture because you've had too much moisture or too much water it will die and it will rot out the seed and the little uh, germinated seeds so add enough water where it can evaporate and condensate and then create its own little greenhouse I'm gonna put this on top Okay, and this is what it will look like. You just put, make sure you put the um, the top inside the other one, and then tape it up. One important thing is that also you could buy a, a thermometer, a one dollar or one pound thermometer. I got this from the pound store for a pound. It's a baby thermometer, a tub thermometer. But I cracked it open, got the thermometer out, and and glued it to the uh, the gauge here. So I'll put that inside, uh, stick it into the dirt, so you can see the temperature of the the uh, the dirt. Because you keep it warm, the moringa is gonna grow better. So best way to do it is to get a thermometer and see if it's too cold. If it's too cold, you might wanna to uh, to uh, add a little compost into it and make sure the temperature is right. Because uh, keep it at above 70 degrees, 65, 70 degrees because it's best for the, um, the, the, the seeds to grow. And you put your lid on, and then the top I'm gonna tape it as well, so you don't want the, the, your water to evaporate. So you tape the top or put a cap on it. All right, and so this is me taping the top. I'm taping the top for you to see. Tape it up, you cover it. Make sure there's no more. It's your gonna escape because it's your personal greenhouse and heat is important as well. And you can put that near the window and let it grow. And uh, if it's sunny outside like today, it's best to um, transplant them. And make sure you tape around as well. I've just done two, so I'm going to finish off taping it around the, uh, every hole. And uh, I can to keep the heat in there. It's important to keep the heat inside. Okay, here we go. I'm done. Cap that off, make sure it's closed on top. It's shut, it's closed, it's taped up. 
you keep it open you keep it taped because you know i don't want to really seal it permanently because you can oh, a couple months every month or so you can add a little bit of water like a spoonful of water or whatever not too much because remember uh there's no ventilation or there's no water coming down so uh so it doesn't percolate down the bottom because whatever water you put in it stays in there and moisture and uh, it keeps moist and it moisturizes all the um, leaves and everything else so it's its own little green plant a uh, greenhouse so this is it you're done you have a little greenhouse of your own you put it next to um the window so let it grow and you can see the seed that's there i don't i don't cover it too much because um the root's gonna dig deep in the, uh, in there and it's gonna grow and uh that's it you let it uh, germinate continue germinating growing and uh within a month or so you'll have about a small little tree in there so anyway hopefully that will work out and i'll show you next time